uh, lecture we have studied about the basics of programming language now here we will start with the advanced concepts of programming language first we will start with the very important concept that is called operators in c programming hi i am dr shriyash atri welcome to s chand academy before we go ahead these are the some good engineering books from s chand publishing so we will cover the few operators in part 1 first of all let's start with the arithmetic operators so these operators are used for the arithmetic expressions like simple addition subtraction multiplication division or to find the remainder of any equation so how to write these operators in a c programming it's a very small program of c program it's a very small c program to explain the arithmetic operators so this program explain the concept of arithmetic operators how we are using the arithmetic operators in c programming language so int a equal to 10 b equal to 5 and c okay these are the declaration of three variables a b and c where 10 is assigned to the variable a and 5 is assigned to the variable b and the first arithmetic operator we are using c equal to a plus b that means when our program start uh, solving this it works from the right to left that is that is called the associativity right to left or so a plus b so whatever the sum is that is 5 plus 10 15 that 15 will be assigned to the variable c and using the print out statement we are printing the addition of c is percentage d the meaning of here percentage d is it will print the integer value integer value of a particular variable we want to print the value of variable c so this will print the value of variable c that is the output will come like this addition of c is 15 this is my output this output comes the second statement is c equal to a minus b now 10 minus 5 10 that is 5 now it will overwrite the value of the with the previous value of c that is the previous value was 15 now it will overwrite the value of c and it updates the value of variable c that is 5 uh, understand with the help of this this is pictorial formation of variable this is the variable c okay in first inst instruction a plus b so this in variable c 15 saved and it is printed now in second instruction it is say a minus b a minus b is 5 so it will overwrite is now the updated value of c is 5 then uh, the third expression is a star b that is a multiply by b multiplication so 10 and 5 50 so it will replace 5 and updated the value with the 50 similarly uh, then we have a division c a divided by b this particular expression gives us the quotient okay this gives us the quotient of division a divided by b that means 10 divided by 5 gives us the value 2 okay and uh, this particular expression a this percentage sign is called modulus a modulus b the output of this expression is remainder okay whatever the remainder is that will become the output of c so if i say a 10 modulus 5 the remainder is 0 so finally my output is 0 so the output screen gives us the output like that first statement that is 15 then 5 then 50 2 and 0 because there are 1 2 3 4 5 printf uh, printf statement and every printf statement will print the values 15 5 52 5, and 0 this is about the arithmetic operators the second type of operator is relational operator and i will combine the third operator as well in this relational operators and equality operators 
when we need to show the relation between the two variables or two numbers we need to use the relational operators and when we need to show whether that particular number is equal to another number or not when we need to show the equality or not equality then we need to use the equality operator so we are combining uh, these two in a this whole uh, table so this is less than operator 3 less than 5 if this statement is true my output will be 1 if this statement is false where 5 is less than 3 statement is false my output will come 0 less than equal to 4 is less than equal to 4 condition is true because 4 is not less than 4 but 4 is equal to 4 as well so my output will be 1 and here 5 is less than equal to 4 condition is false so my output will be 0 similarly this is greater than if I say 5 is greater than 4 condition is true that is 1 and if and it says greater than or equal to if I say 5 is greater than equal to 5 again this is true because 5 is not greater than 5 but 5 is equal to 5 so it will give the output 5 if I say 5 is greater than 5 5 is greater than 5 this statement is absolutely false because 5 is equal to 5 but it is, it is not greater than 5 so my output will be 0 false here the meaning of 1 is 0 is true and false true means 1 0 means uh, false equality equality means x equal to equal to y okay that means the value of x is 2 2 equal to equal to and the value of y is also 2 both the equals uh, both the values are true the output will be 1 if it is 1 equal to equal to 2 my output will be 0 because it is false again not equal to not equal to means if I say 5 is not equal to 4 that is true so my output will be 1 if I say 5 is not equal to 5 it is absolutely false because 5 is equal to 5 so my output will be 0 true and false and relational and equality operators my output um, will come in form of 1 and 0 or it gives us true and false this is the program to understand more clearly the difference between relational and equality operators and how they are behaving we have initialized the variable a equal to 2 b equal to 2 and c equal to 5 now one by one see what happens here printf the statement is written percentage d equal to percentage d is percentage d that means this whole statement will be written by the printf statement as it is but instead of percentage d it will print the value so my output will come like that what value is there are the variables a b and a equal to b so this percentage d belongs to this a this percentage d belongs to b and this percentage d belongs to this particular statement so it is saying a it will print the value of a the value of a is 2 so my output will be like that 2 equal to the value of b is 2 2 equal to 2 is a equal to b that means 2 equal to 2 the condition is true so here the output will come 1 so my final output will come like that 2 equal to equal to 2 is 1 it is true if I say let the value of b is 3 instead of 2 let the value of b is 3 then what happened 2 equal to equal to 3 is 0 because they are not equal to each other the same thing happens. the same concept applies in every statement so we will get the output how many statements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 there are 12 printf statements and we will get the 12 different outputs in terms of 1 if the condition is true the output will come 1 if the condition is false the output will come 0 so this is a very squeeze introduction of the relational and equality operator the third type of or because we have combined the relational and uh, equality operator together so 
नाउ द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटर इज कॉल्ड लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर सो लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर गिव्स अस द लॉजिक एज वी हैव स्टडीड द लॉजिक गेट्स इन आवर फिजिक्स इन 11th एंड 12th सो इफ एंड गेट इज देयर माय आउटपुट विल बी इफ बोथ द कंडीशंस आर ट्रू देन माय आउटपुट विल बी वन एल्स माय आउटपुट इज फॉल्स इन और both the if both the conditions are false my output will be zero if either of the condition is true my output will be one that is called and and or gate the same concept applies in programming as well in any type of, whether it can be c programming java programming python programming any programming language you are using if you are using the logical operators the concept remains the same and or and not the three operators we are using and or and not so these are the symbol to apply the and operator in your program and this is the symbol of or and this is exclamation is called not so double m percent we called it in english we call it and the symbol of and but in programming language we call it as m percent so this is m percent double m percent true if all the operands are true that means both the conditions are true then it will give the output one else it will give the output zero this is double pipe okay the single dash double pipe okay uh, this is the key in the keyboard as well so we have to press this key two times to apply this particular symbol this is true if either of the one operand is true if the we have, we have two we have given two condition either of the one condition is true then we have to uh, then the output is one else output is zero exclamation sign this is called this is used as a not true only if the operand is zero that means it is opposite of this then let's have a example of this if a equal to 5 then my expression is a equal to equal to 5 because it is given a equal to 5 the 5 of uh, the value 5 is assigned to variable a and here we are applying the equality operator a equal to equal to 5 the condition is true but here we have light not that means a is not equal to 5 that is this is absolutely false because the value of a is 5 so that's why it is giving the output 0 if i say 5 equal to equal to 3 and before that the not sign is applied so not 5 equal to equal to 3 that means 5 is not equal to 3 the condition is true so that's why it is giving the output 1 okay so this is all about the logical operator we will use this logical operator in uh, to write the instruction these are the very important operators all these operators arithmetic operations are used to write the expressions or any formulas relational equality and logical operators these operators are used to give uh, to take the decisions to give some conditions okay in any programming language so these are the these four first four are the very important uh, operators of c programming language although all are the important but mostly we are using this uh, first four and then we will use this fifth one as well so in part 2 we will uh, study about the remaining operators remaining important operator one is assignment operator another is unary operators in part 1 we have studied about the arithmetic operators logical relational and equality operator okay and we have implemented these operators with the help of a program you understand the functionality of these operators with the help of small small program i recommend these engineering books from s chan publishing uh, if you like this video do like subscribe and share and press the bell icon for future notifications the copyright holder